This video tutorial will cover how to create a new shipping batch in WebLDMS. To start a new batch, go to the Pending Shipments page under the Shipping category of the LDMS toolbar. Over to the right in the action bar, drop down and click Create Shipment. A pop-up menu will appear with five tabs. Fill in the information for each of the tabs. Starting in the General tab, select a shipment date. This is the intended ship date for the batch. Select a shipping file format. Remember, an LDMS shipping file must be used when shipping to another LDMS lab. The third option here is our temperature. Select the temperature of the specimens for the shipment. The next tab, Shipment Destination, is the address book of the LDMS. Use the Lab Number radio button is automatically highlighted, and all LDMS labs will appear in the drop-down list in numerical order. You can simply type the lab ID, it will filter through, and then you can select your LDMS lab. When shipping to a non-LDMS lab, Click the new lab radio button and then fill in the address form manually. You do have the option of saving that address for later use. In the contact at sending lab tab, select the name and phone number of your shipping contact at your laboratory. You may also type into these fields. Shipment notes, if you have any comments or legal disclaimers, you may enter that into these freeform text boxes. The last tab is for shipment contents. You can add shipping containers of individual specimens that you are selecting to add to the batch, or you can add storage items. Please review a separate video on how to add shipment contents to your batch. Clicking the Save button in the center will create an entry in the Pending Shipments page. You can access the menu by clicking Edit Ship if you need to change any of the information in the Shipment Preview window. Thank you for watching this video. To cover shipment contents, QAQC, and the creation of the, of the shipping file, uh, please view those separate videos. Further information is also available on our LDMS website, www.ldms.org, under the Resources tab for user manuals, or the Contact Us tab to contact your support.